Hi, I'm Andy Boyle, and welcome to Funny Talk, where we interview Chicago area comedians. Uh, with us this week, we have Jeff Arcuri, everybody. Yeah, hi. Ah, hi, Jeff, how are you? I'm super duper, it's Arcuri, but that's totally fine. Uh, I, what, did I message your yeah, name? Yeah, no, it's not a big deal, Andy Boyle, eh? <laughs> You ever been on a date, like a first date, and you look across the table, and you're like, oh, they don't want to be here anymore. Have you ever had that happen? <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> I did that, brought her back to my house, and I wanted to give her a kiss, because I thought I deserved it, right? So I brought her back to, to her, actually her house, went to her apartment building, and in my head, I'm like, I'm going to go for it. So I went for it, and then she turned away, saying no, right? But then my man brain kicked in. <laughs> And I was like, I think I'm going to try again. <laughs> Why do we do that? What's wrong with us? As if we're saying, I don't think she understood what I was trying to do. I think I need to go for it again. And she said, no, again. And then I asked her out. And she said, sure. But it was like a, mm, no. <laughs> and then the worst thing happened is when we were standing in front of her apartment complex, the front gate. And I'm like, so... Which one is yours? <laughs> and she's like, I don't feel comfortable telling you that. <laughs> and then I said, well, there's only eight of them, so. <laughs> I'll figure it out. <laughs> I almost called you your roommate's name. Did you really? Yeah, for a second, I, I almost did. That's Let's funny. start over. <laughs> no, no, that was a fun riff. That was a fun riff. Well, okay, so. Uh, if you've never been, if you've never watched Funny Talk before, what we do is we ask Chicago area comedians five questions, kind of Chicago centric. So, uh, you ready for this? Let's go, man. Let's do it. All right. Question number one: The first televised presidential debate was in Chicago between Jeff, John F. Kennedy, and Richard Nixon. Where would I'm gonna read it again? Richard Mexican? What did you say? <laughs> the first televised presidential debate was in Chicago between John F. Kennedy and Richard Nixon. Where would JFK go in the city now to pick up women? <laughs> Definitely not, well, he would, probably downtown, I would assume. Not like anywhere like, like Wrigleyville or Lincoln Park, because I feel like any girls he would talk to probably wouldn't recognize him there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, they'd be like, who's this guy doing a Mayor Quimby impression? Like, just, I, that's what I, I just, I would actually like to see that. I would like to see JFK be like, you remind me of my beloved Jackie. And then he'd be like, ew. That's a good impression, though. She's not here right now. <laughs> it is okay. I'm She's gonna be dead. I'm She's gonna super dead. <laughs> All right, question number two. If you could make Rahm Emanuel wear one kind of hat for a day, what kind of hat would it be? Uh, I don't know if people like him or not. If they don't, dunce cap. If they do, a backwards Kangol hat. I would think that would be the best hat. If he just shows up in meetings with that, he just Yeah, well think about it. Name name three famous people with backwards Kangol hats. Uh, Samuel Jackson. Yep. And Samuel Jackson. Patrice O'Neill. Patrice O'Neill. And Rahm Emanuel. Those are the top three. You need a top three of everything. Very so similar be, Very similar in power and electability. Oh, yeah, absolutely. But, like, look at him. And then, and then he would have a jacket on, and then the shirt underneath would be on, too. But, like, the first two buttons undone with nothing. And he would go into every meeting that way. <laughs> you could see, like, his, his chest plate tattooed. Yeah, like Michael Scott did in that one uh, in uh, The Office when he was like, I'm Date Mike. That, that's what he oh, would look okay. like. That's, I think that would be Date Rom. Date Rom. All right. Date Rom. All right, third question. You become mayor of Chicago for a day. What are the first three laws you get rid of? I would, uh, okay. I, um, I would get rid of no smoking, no gambling, and no playing loud music on the CTA. I feel like those three laws. I want to have fun while I'm on the train. Are those all three? That's the three? That's the three laws. That's <laughs> you all just want to have a better time. Yeah, yeah. Pot, pot will end up legal eventually. I'm not going to, you know, I don't need to jump the gun on that one. I just think that <laughs> the CTA, I really want to shoot some dice and play some Drake on my, on my, on my train rides. All right. I'm yeah. okay with it. Smoke a cigarette. All right. Third or fourth question. Malort wants you to become its mascot. Mm. What is the mascot? And it can't be a Malort bottle. And what's its name? Okay. Is it safe to assume that everyone hates Malort? Like it's like one of those horrible things. They hate everyone... it, but they like it. Right. Okay. So I would be a dentist because <laughs> everyone's done it, but nobody likes to go to, nobody does it ever. Like nobody likes to. What, what would the dentist name be? The dentist name? Yeah. Uh, doctor, this shot tastes like shit. That's what he's, <laughs> that's, I don't know. I've never had a Malort shot and been like, yeah, another one. I've never done that ever. That's a standard Irish name. Or, or a drunk baby. 
Okay. Because that, you can't, I mean, there'd be some uproar, but I feel like a drunk baby would be an amazing mascot. Yeah, yeah. I'm okay with that. Okay. All right, last question. Oh, that's it. Chicago has a dog park named Wiggly Field, named after Wrigley Field. I love it. Give me the dog park counterpart uh -oh. for U.S. Cellular Field. U.S. Cellular Field, and that is the Red so White Sox? White Sox. White Sox. I would, s <laughs> so it's, okay, how about uh, U.S. Smell Your Rear Field? Because dogs, <laughs> you know, you know, that's actually, that's, that's what they should, they should do that. That's what it is. Smell your rear. Dogs love butts. If, uh, if, if Ron was wearing a Kangol hat, he could just get that legislation right through. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, if he did, he'd be like, like uh, I'm going to change this, I'm going to change this park to, I don't know why he would have that accent. <laughs> the Kangol hat just makes him completely change. Oh, God. Edit. Uh, he would just be like, hi, a normal, a normal guy. <laughs> Let's change this park's name. I'm Kangol hat Ron. That's what he would say. Oh, right. That's, that's so good. Yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> Jeff R. Curry, thank you so much for yeah, uh, being, thanks, on, being on Funny Talk. I appreciate uh, it, brother. We'll have another great comedian next week that will answer some awesome questions. Thanks for watching. Yeah.